previous episodes, we had a reintroduction to the four fundamentals of selling tickets and merchandise and negotiating sponsorship agreements of higher value. Thereafter, we looked at use cases for increasing ticket sales using the four fundamentals. In particular, how a Swedish hockey league club generated 2.5 million Swedish crowns in revenue in the space of only two weeks, how a football club playing in the highest division in Greece managed to more than double their average ticketing order revenue from 19 euros to 42 euros in less than a year, And finally, how a professional rugby union club in the UK sent an email campaign to a target group of 250 people that generated a revenue of £5,000. In today's episode, we will continue down a similar path of discussing more use cases of how sports organisations successfully use the four fundamentals to meet their business goals. As always, we use real-life examples. The emphasis for this episode is on using the four fundamentals to sell more merchandise. So how have some of the world's most successful sports organisations used the four fundamentals to sell more merchandise? Firstly, one club wanted to leverage match day performance to increase merchandise sales. They had just played a very dramatic match which resulted in victory at the very last minute. So what did they do? They created a social media campaign based on the pitch success. They promoted the jerseys of the player who had scored in the last minute. Thereafter, they reached out to the fans with a special offer directly linked to the campaign. The results were a 66% increase in sales, their best ever e-store sales results at the time. They also saw sales increase by 91% compared to the day before the game. Another club did not just want to increase their merchandise sales, they also wanted to know how they should approach their targeting when it comes to said merchandise sales. So they created a campaign to sell more shirts and with name prints and compare the results of targeting smaller versus larger segments. The first segment that received this campaign was current shirt owners with merchandise order values higher than 90 euros. This segment was made up of 1,200 recipients. The other segment was anyone who bought a ticket in the last two years. This segment comprised 38,000 recipients. The results were a combined 60% open rate, 6% click-through rate and 110 items sold which generated €8,800 in revenue. When analysed proportionally, the smaller segment had 7 times better results than the larger segment. What an insight! Finally, another club wanted to sell limited edition alternate away jerseys so they targeted club members with pre-order offerings. They thereafter extended the campaign offering the jerseys to non-members. The initial phase of the campaign achieved a 61% open rate and a 7% click-through rate resulting in a revenue of 21,100 Australian dollars. The collective revenue generated from the campaigns targeting both members and non-members amounted to 45,329 Australian dollars. This particular case shows the power of iterating the same campaign with different segments. From these three examples, it is evident that the four fundamentals are a powerful tool to use when wanting to increase your merchandise sales. Let's conclude this episode by revisiting what the four fundamentals are. 
The four fundamentals are a groundbreaking process innovation and transformative approach that empowers sports organizations of all sizes across seasons and regions to harness the power of their data. By seamlessly integrating all supporter data into one place, the result is not just increased sustained revenue streams, but a genuine commitment to placing fans and supporters at the heart and centre of every initiative that a sports organisation embarks on. These four fundamentals are 1. Grow your contact database continuously. 2. Collect supporter data with contact information and merge it with your other data. 3. Find out which supporter segments you should target with your campaigns. And 4. Send relevant offers to those segments in a way that your supporters will appreciate. Thank you for joining me on today's episode. Join me again next time when we discuss the other four fundamental use cases intending to inspire you to achieve similar and even better results. I have been your host, Lorraine Moalusi.